it's 100 percent we move it to 5 that would be 90 percent to 6 eight. in this video i'm going to show you how we can use ultrasonic sensors to measure fluid levels although ultrasonic is used for distance the output that we'll be expecting is in percentage let's do some coding The code that we will use in this tutorial will be based on our previous video about ultrasonic sensor. I will put the link down below of that video. So let's now start. Let's now change this variable into long because we do not expect any floating values because the percentage is a whole number. Then we put the variable that will hold the percentage measurement. So that will be named as percentage. Now. We need to remove this float because we will now expect a long output or an integer output. Then let's comment this out first. We don't need any triggering. We don't need any notification alarm at this point. This is the most critical part of this video. Using the map function. In this link or in this URL, you can find the documentation about the map, the map function. What it does is... It rescales the measurement into a different maximum and minimum limits. So you can work, you can check this out to see and do some experiments and to see how this actually works. Now let's go back to our code. On our code, we will use that map function. So what we will do is we define, we will check, we, we, we will use the variable that we set here, which is percentage. This will hold the percentage value let's now use the map function for the map for the map function we need to input first the the value of the variable that we're going to scale which is the distance so we will say that 14 14 cm will be our will be our zero zero percentage and 4 cm will be our 100%. So that will be scaled to 14. Uh, I mean, 4 up to 14 will be scaled from 0 to 100. Let's have a better illustration here. As you see, this will be the point 0. The ultrasonic sensor will start here. Let's adjust this a little bit. This will be our 0 centimeter, then it will become 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Then the 4 centimeters will be equal to 100. And then uh, it goes towards to 14 centimeters, which will be the 0%. Because that simulates that the fluid level is slowly moving down. So we will have this obstruction so that we can do that testing here. Let's now continue on our code. Now that we have the percentage value, let's try to print that. So we'll add here a serial print. That will be percentage. Then serial print for the value then we need to put a percentage sign here okay and then this should work let's see let's upload it's now successful done uploading let's go now to serial monitor as you see the distance now is 16 15 because our obstruction is around 15. But the value of the percentage is 10 per negative 10%. That's not good. So let's have some coding here. We need to correct that here on our code. So if percentage is less than 10, Let's just fix it to 10. Also, on the other end, if else 
if percentage is greater than 100, let's fix that to percentage 100. That should do the trick. So that if if we're out of scale or we're out of range, it will not go to a negative value or to more than 100%. So let's upload that. Let's upload that again. Now it's done. Let's see now the result on our serial monitor. As you see, it's 15 and 16, but it's now 0%. Same here, it's 0%. So let's move this to around 4. There you go. It's, it's sensing 5. So maybe it's just, there you go, it's 4. It's 100%. We move it to 5, that would be 90% to 6, 80%. And then if we go down further, like here in 11, that's 30%. And if we're in 14, or it's sensing 15, so let's move it up a little bit. 14, that would be 0. So that's equivalent to 0. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. And... This is really a useful project to measuring different fluid levels. If you have any questions, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.